Imagine this, a non-profit started with idealistic dreams in 2015, a bitter breakup with Elon Musk in 2018, a billion dollar lifeline from Microsoft in 2019, and then November 30th, 2022, ChatGPT launched. The internet changed overnight. Your version of Elon Musk has like attacked you and all this is, what is the core of that dispute from your perspective? He wants to start up now. I'm yeah. very grateful for that. Uh, I really, for a long time, looked up to him as just an incredible hero and, you know, great jewel of humanity. I have different feelings now. We later decided that we weren't on a trajectory to be successful. And he didn't want to, you know, he kind of told us we had a 0% chance of success and he was going to go do his competitive thing and, and we did okay. And I think he got understandably upset, like I'd feel bad in that situation. And since then has just sort of been trying to make us competitive and clone and it, trying to sort of slow us down and sue us and do this and that. Today, let's decode how OpenAI reshaped the AI race and how two men became inseparable from its journey. One, Sam Altman, and the other, Elon Musk. And beyond it all, the chase for the ultimate dream, artificial general intelligence, AGR. Let's rewind to 2015. OpenAI was founded as a non-profit. Sam Altman, Elon Musk, and a handful of Silicon Valley leaders they had a mission. It was simple, but ambitious, to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. The idea was noble, shape research openly, avoid big tech monopolies, and make AI for public good. Elon Musk pledged a billion dollars. In reality, he put in about 100 million. Still, for a while, he was OpenAI's biggest Battle. But by 2018, cracks appeared. Musk wanted more control. He was tired of the slow progress. He even reportedly offered to run OpenAI himself. The board said no, and Musk walked away, huffing and puffing. He accused OpenAI of drifting away from its mission. Altman, he pushed forward with his own vision. By 2019, the writing was on the wall. OpenAI couldn't survive as a pure non-profit. Training advanced AI models was already costing hundreds of millions of dollars. So Sam Altman created a new structure, a non-profit parent for a for-profit subsidiary called OpenAI LP. And here's the key shift. OpenAI was no longer the open, freely available research lab it had been at launch. From now on, it would start holding back and monetizing its breakthroughs. The rules were also unusual. Investors could put money in, but returns were capped. Not so bad though, they were capped at 100x. Effectively, the nonprofit was in charge, but almost every employee moved over to the four profit limited partnership. That way they could be compensated with equity grants tied to milestones like GPT launches and user growth. But Sam Altman, he made a different choice. He declined equity to avoid conflict of interest. He takes a symbolic salary, $76,001 a year. No stake in the valuation at all. Of course, he's already wealthy from early bets on Stripe, Reddit, Helion Energy, but he calls OpenAI his childhood dream job. Right after this restructuring came the lifeline. In 2019, Microsoft invested $1 billion. Not just cash, they gave something more important, access to Azure's 
super computing cloud. That deal gave OpenAI the scale it needed. Without Microsoft's GPUs and data centers, GPT-3 and GPT-4 would never have been possible. But here's the twist. Microsoft didn't actually own OpenAI. What they got were profit rights, up to 49% of the profits, capped at 100 times their investment. So with 1 billion, the maximum upside was around 100 billion in profit. Not so bad. Let's fast forward to November 30, 2022. Open AI dropped ChatGPT, built on GPT 3.5, a simple chatbot interface, and it went viral instantly. One million users in five days, a hundred million in two months, the fastest consumer app growth in history. On Apple's App Store, it shot to number one. On Android, tens of millions of downloads in week. And then, of course, with every great story, there is drama. On November 17, 2023, Sam Altman is suddenly fired by the board. Their statement? He hadn't been consistently candid in his communications. The reaction? Total chaos. Almost every employee, including top leadership, signed a letter demanding his return. Many threatened to quit and follow him to Microsoft, which had already offered him a new AI division. Five days later, the board came. And on November 22, 2023, Altman returned as CEO, stronger than ever, with the loyalty of his entire company behind him. And his salary, still $76,001. In June 2024, Apple announced a pivotal partnership with OpenAI. ChatGPT was being integrated into Siri and other iOS features. No extra app was needed. It just worked. This was a massive validation for OpenAI, but it immediately stirred up trouble. Elon Musk, always a lightning rod, was furious. He pounded the keyboard. If Apple integrates OpenAI at the OS level, then Apple devices will be banned at my companies. This is an unacceptable security violation. Let's talk numbers. How did OpenAI do? Its revenue exploded. In 2022, we were talking about $200 million. In 2023, it crossed $1 billion. And in 2024, nearly 3.7 billion. In just two years, OpenAI went from no revenue to one of the fastest growing companies in tech history. Now comes January 2025. With ChatGPT scaling globally, OpenAI revealed its boldest vision yet. Project Starkit. Not a model, not an app, to build the largest AI data center on Earth. The joint venture Microsoft, SoftBank, Oracle, and many others. The target was to invest $500 billion by 2029. Sam Altman made it clear he wanted access to over 1 million GPUs. Because training frontier models, it's not just about clever code, it's about raw horsepower. In February of 2025, Elon Musk made a stunning move. His consortium offered $97.4 billion to purchase the non-profit that controls OpenAI, the very entity. But OpenAI's board wasn't having it. They rejected the bid outright, saying OpenAI is not for sale, that any shakeup would only weaken the non-profit's mission. Musk didn't stop there. His team even tried courting Mark Zuckerberg for financing this takeover, but Meta bowed out. OpenAI hit back with style. Altman quipped on X, no thanks, but we can buy Twitter for 9.74 billion if you'd like, and officially dismissed the offer as nonsensical. Musk's attempt wasn't just a takeover. 
it was a direct challenge to open AI's direction, and it turned their transformation into a for-profit entity, into a full-blown legal spectacle. And this is when things went really crazy. In early 2023, the valuation of OpenAI was at $29 billion. In October 2024, the valuation skyrocketed to $157 billion. And in March 2025, just six months later, SoftBank leads a $40 billion round and valuation hits $300 billion. This was the largest private tech funding in history. By this time, Microsoft had already put in about $13 billion. And under the 100x profit rule, that meant a potential profit of $1.3 trillion without owning a single share. Meanwhile, Sam Altman, the guy running it all, still no equity and still that symbolic salary of $76,001. In May 2025, big second restructuring. The for-profit arm, OpenAI Limited Partners, would now become a public benefit corporation. The nonprofit still stays in control and becomes a major shareholder of the PBC. Why? To simplify governance, to possibly prep for an IPO, and to calm regulators in California and Delaware. And the earlier plan to spin out the for-profit independently was scrapped. Instead, OpenAI doubled down on non-profit oversight, even as it shifted to a more conventional corporate model. Then came the big launch. In August, chat GPT-5, the hype massive. Was this going to be AGI? Not quite. GPT-5 was powerful, PhD level in some areas, longer context windows, better reasoning, but still full of hallucinations still lacking common sense. But there were two big takeaways for Sam Altman, a clear shift of focus to the enterprise and a big developer push with APIs, agents, and tools. So yes, it's progress, but AGI still a dream for another day, but it seems like they're pushing forward to cater to the consumer, the enterprise, and the developer market. As we sit in August, there are talks of a secondary sale that could value OpenAI at $500 billion. If that happens, it will overtake SpaceX as the world's most valuable private company. Now, in all of this, you're wondering where is Elon Musk? He's fretting and fuming. Of course, he left in 2018, but he never really left the story. By 2024, he's suing OpenAI. Meanwhile, Elon launches XAI, builds Grok, sarcastic, rebellious, the anti chat GPT. And on X, he posts, open AI is neither open nor about AI. It's closed source and effectively controlled by Microsoft. Musk frets, he fumes. Fast forward to August 2025 and Musk pulled the legal trigger. His AI company, XAI, backed by XCorp, filed a lawsuit in a Texas federal court, targeting both Apple and OpenAI. He claimed they colluded to give ChatGPT unfair dominance across phones, pushing Grok, XAI's chatbot, off the playing field and throttling competition. I think that OpenAI is likely going to be the next multi-trillion dollar hyperscale company. The opportunity to invest before they get there, this is some of the smartest investments we can possibly imagine. So here we are. In just 10 years, OpenAI has gone from a non-profit experiment to a $500 billion giant. By mid-2025, its revenue hit an annualized run rate of about $12 billion. That's a billion dollars every single month. And at the helm, Sam Altman, 
Still no equity, a modest salary, but enormous influence. In the shadows, Elon Musk, once a co-founder, now a rival. And the bigger question, even with GPT-5, a million GPUs and dreams of Stargate, we are still far from AGI. Will OpenAI's pursuit make humanity safer and smarter? Or will it chase for scale, money and power and pull away from its original mission? Because in the end, the story of OpenAI isn't just about Sam Altman or Elon Musk. It's about us and how we choose to shape the future of intelligence itself.